Hi guys, today's review is a two-part, basically, um, glitter pen review. Um, as you can see at the front here, I've already got my At You Spicker pens. Um, this is set A. Um, there are 12 colours, um, but 24 colours in total, so if you went for set B, there are more 12 colours. Those are the only colours available. These are by Copic. Um, if you go onto the website, you find out that they are Copic pen distributors in or manufacturers in Japan. So I'm guessing they supply them over Asia, um, but they don't have it written on the packaging. So if they did have it written on the packaging, I'm guessing it would be twice the amount of money to spend for those packs. They are quite expensive. I won't say they're cheap. Um, yeah, um, on the side here, there's an example of me using the sticker pens on a sticker that I've made. Um, just check the shimmer on them. I'm just gonna move this out now the way and show you my swatches. I might do a bit of a review on the sticker sometime later, maybe, or you could check out my. Um, Instagram page I might post something on there so here this is just a swatch of the pens basically the 12 colors that I've got um, it's in under my room lighting so sorry if it looks a bit yellowing but that's how the light is um, but you can see shimmering pretty good um, just ignore the bottom swatches, those are my other pens I'll be talking about later. And just concentrate on the ones, the top ones. Now the pen itself, they say that it has micro crushed glass in them. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but yeah, they are quite fine the glitter pieces I would say. but. At first I wasn't that impressed with the pens when they came um, for the price, but um, they've kind of grown on me now. Um, the, there are some people that have commented that the pens don't work properly. I did have that same problem with my gold pen because the glitter was just not flowing. Um, they do say that just keep the pen upright or maybe use it a couple of times, it will probably obviously let the glitter come down and start working properly. Now these pens are the darker kind of bright ones, that's why the colour that's inside the actual pen is more pigmented. So they are translucent, so I have done a little practice on black paper for you down here. If you can see that middle one, just ignore the other two, the middle one is the olive colour. You can actually see the colour on black, but you can see glitter, so if you are buying these, just remember they're not for black paper, just for white, or if you're going to work on top of um, any manga drawings or you've done markers, layer of paper or anything like that, it works on top of that. Fine. Um, the pen itself, um, yeah, I'll just show you. Yeah, just one more pointer. Um, the black that's in this pack is more of a gunmetal colour, I would say, than actual black. Um, but in pack B, there's a pitch black, which is more darker than this. So, pretty annoyed about that they didn't put the bl that dark black in here. But you can obviously work on top of the colours, and they do go a bit darker. So when you're writing, if you have the tip down on any certain area, it will pool the colour, so try not to let it pool too much because if you're using normal card paper, it does lift off and get stuck in the actual tip of the pen. I'll just show you what the tip of the pen looks like. Now, um, yeah. I quite like the shape of the pen. It's quite narrow though, um, you can't tell if the ink's going to run out and they're not refillable as far as I can tell. quite like the way the pen lid just goes on top and it's quite clear so it looks really nice. Say the colour does match the actual lid so yeah, 
that's pretty close. Um, yeah, the tip itself is plastic. It's a hard plastic. Um, and they have little teeth at the end, so the glitter just flows through that. But if, yeah, if you do work on paper, normal paper, I would say about three layers of the pen working on top of it, it does start to lift the paper up and, because it gets wet and they do get caught in the little teeth of the pen. So you will have to pick them out because it will clog up otherwise. But that's manageable, I guess. Just try not to work over them as they're wet. Um, they will, as they are translucent, you can use them on top of markers, so that's good as well. So um, they do claim on the packaging, if you just pause the video, you can actually read everything that's on there. Um, but they do claim it's waterproof. They are water-based, so I'm not sure how they can say they're waterproof, but I have tried spreading them with water, and what happens is it lifts off the dye in the ink because of the dark colours, I think there's more dye in there, um, and the glitter, so it kind of spreads. So if you wanted to water them down on watercolours, you probably could smudge it a little, but the lines do stay there, obviously the block colour, but it does have a faint line shadow if you do use a brush over the top, so just have that in mind. But the other pack are more light, some of them, half of them are light. Um, they they probably won't be as you could probably just shift the glitter on if you use water on those but they do have some dark colors in the other pack so just check out both colors but i went for pack set a um yeah that's all i have to say about these pens at the moment um they are expensive you can buy them individually if you would wish to but you could probably just buy one pack and if there's a colour in the other pack that you like, maybe purchase that separately, but they are expensive. Um, think about it if you want to purchase them. I would recommend using probably cheaper products first because um, just to get a bit of practice um, instead of spending too much. But if you're very serious of doing art, I would recommend, yeah, just purchase these. Probably won't use them as much because I put whole, purchased the whole pack. I'm not sure I'm going to be using all the colours very quickly, but they're good to add a bit of glitter to an image that I draw or anything like that. So it's up to you, your choice. I'm just going to move these out of the way now. I'm going to talk about the other pens I have. Okay, other pens are by Kurotaki brand. Um, there are two types here I've got here, but they're the same brand by Sig. Um, Wink of Stella um, brush one, and the other one's just Wink of Stella. That's in a pen form. The tip on the pen form is exactly the same as the At You Spicker pens. So, because they're both Japanese products, I'm expecting them both to be kind of similar in the ink and glitter. And surprise, surprise, they are because my swatches, they're both fine glitter both the same kind of vibrancy and so only difference is, is I've got one in a brush form pen and one this as a pen this one is not refillable this one you could refill if you wish you can find glitter that you could probably put into the cartridge and use the brush or you could just turn this into a water brush afterwards it's your own choice um, let's talk about them in a minute I'm just gonna bring in a sample of art here. I used this pen. It's a clear pen, so this is 999 the number for the clear. I did do a mistake purchase buying the silver one because I didn't know it wasn't clear. It has a bit of a colour tinge to it, so I had to purchase another one and I wanted this to be a brush pen and I ended up getting a brush pen, so I don't know how that happened, but it happened. And I'm just going to show you now the glitter, the clear on top of this watercolour paper. Pretty, very pretty um, and fine glitter so it's quite good for card makers if you're gonna do a bit of sparkle on artwork. Um, all the artwork you see here in here that um, it is for sale you can just let me know if you would like to purchase any of them. Um, yes and back to here. Um, 
yeah and all the, my information will be in the description box below if you have any comments you would like any um, ideas or tips or tricks or anything to use these products please leave them down in the comment bar because that will help other people out as well and me too because I read them all um, yeah. with this pen though um, they do I like the lid because it's got a bit of glitter in there so you can tell it's that color is clear and even on the bottom but you can't see inside the actual ink um, this one was a pain to start as well um, because the glitter would just not flow through it and I can't squeeze this pen it's it's just a solid pen and yeah but I eventually got it working after using it continuously on paper but yeah same problem the teeth if you work over and over again um, they do catch the paper and yeah you have to pick it up then but Stella Wink Brush, this is one I quite like. It does look like a beauty product. Um, they do tell you in the bag of the packaging not to use it as a beauty product. I'm just going to hold this here. If you wanted to, you could probably freeze the frame and read everything. But there's a tear mark here, but I didn't want to open the packaging because I like to keep the pens in the packaging. It just has the information inside the packaging there, how to get the pen working, basically. But I'll just show you how it, I got mine working. Um, Take out the packaging from the top, I just pulled it up. This black um, ring was inside the cartridge here, under here. All you have to do is open the cartridge, remove, remove the ring that was in there, and see that little um, part in the chamber here? You have to wait until it kind of pierces the bottom part of it and then you just press on the push buttons on both sides and watch the chamber filling up with the ink. Try not to press it too much because it will drip out otherwise. And then it's just a stiff brush at the end. And yeah, that's how it is. And you have the numbers of the actual pen. So if you have a bunch of these, you know that it's the same color lid and pen to go together. Um, yeah, pretty good. This is the color number of the color is um, 102 so you see on the top of the packaging has what it looks like the color you can work over these uh, so you'd get a darker shade I'm just gonna show you so let's go over see you just wait for that to dry as well and then it does go, go a bit lighter once it dries so yeah you can water these down probably just put add some water if you have like a palette anyway just put some the ink in, water down, use a brush, it'll be more of a faint line I think and yeah that's all I have to say about the products. They are pretty good, they're both similar um, because they're both made in Japan I'm guessing the same product inside um, so it's your choice which pen you want to go for. I was initially after this clear one. I do know that in the at you speaker pens there is a clear one in the light like the option pack but I went for the dark one so then I just came across the Stella Wink brush pens and that's where I got a clear one and I've got an extra silver one that was a mistake purchase that was my own fault but anyway they are pretty good and got some nice artwork used them and they are quite budge resistant you can work these on top of um markers i've used them on war colors um normal biro pen as well it works on top of that uh, so they are pretty good give them a try if there's any tips that you have for me and anyone who's watching this video please leave them down below hit the thumbs up button and hopefully subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram facebook um, and all the social media sites all the information will be down below thanks for watching this video guys bye